Grade 7 Math, number 13.2c, Theoretical Probability of Compound Events, using a list. As we said before, theoretical probability is based on theories of what might happen without doing any experiments. A spinner has four equal color choices. There's theoretically a one out of four chance it'll land on our color choice. So the p-event, the probability that the event will happen, is the number of ways the event can occur as a numerator over the total of equally likely outcomes as a denominator. And a compound event consists of two or more simple events. So we write the number of ways the compound event can happen compared to the total of equally likely possible outcomes. Now compound events can be dependent or independent of each other. They're dependent on each other if it depends on what happened before. So if we have a bag of orange and grape candy with five of each in the bag and we pick an orange candy out of the bag and eat it, now there's four orange candies and five grape candies. So our next pick is dependent on what happened before. We ate that orange candy, now there's less orange. So our next chance of a pick is going to be greater to pick a grape one because now there's more grape in there. See, it's dependent. An independent outcome would be choosing a flavor of ice cream like chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla, and then choosing if you want it in a cone or a cup. They've got nothing to do with each other. See? These choices are completely independent of each other. Okay? Now, Emma found a pirate's old treasure chest and three keys. And the chest was locked with three locks. And she needs to figure out which key combination to use to open the chest. So there's three locks on the chest, and she's got a round, a square, and a triangle key, and they're all different. She's got to figure out which combination will open up that chest to see if there's a treasure inside. We want to find the probability of the key combination being round, square, triangle. Round, square, triangle. So the first thing we do is list all the combinations that use the round key first. And we do. It could be round, round, round. These keys could not have anything to do with it, the square and triangle ones. They could just be extra keys. Or, here's all the combinations that start with the round key, but then are combined with using the square or triangle key. All right? And we're hoping that it's round, square, triangle. It's this one. Okay? So we find there's nine ways to do it with the round key first. Then we list all the combinations that use the square key first. And we find that there's nine ways that we can make combinations with the square key first. We could do square key, square key, round, or square, round, triangle, or square, triangle, triangle. There's nine different combinations. Then we list all the combinations that use the triangle key first, and we find there's nine different ways that we could figure out to use the triangle key first. See? So we find the number of possible outcomes by totaling all the combinations. 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27 different ways of using these keys in different combinations. So now we find the probability of the key combination being round square triangle, being this one round square triangle. So because there's 27 ways, the probability of the event being round square triangle is the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. There's one favorable outcome right here over a total of 27 possible outcomes. So we've got a 1 in 27 chance, or 1 27th of a chance, of ways to open the treasure chest. Now the answer is a fraction because it's a ratio of how it will happen compared to how it could happen. And it's a probability. So by making a list of the possible key combinations, we have an organized way of seeing all the possibilities just like we did with the tree diagram. See? So that is finding theoretical probability of compound events by using a list. Now, I'm going to do a better comparison of the compound events for dependent and independent of each other in my next video. And that'll be 13.2D. If you need to watch it, I'll see you there. Bye.